Hello YouTube, I decided to bring my CSE controller for the Slant by Lathe project home to my student apartment and also one hybrid stepper and then test connect it and see that everything seemed to work. Have had this stuff here on the shelf for a couple of months, almost half a year now and haven't tried it out yet so I can first show some movement in case you're not interested in watching how I set it up and um, and um, the wiring so super super fast and changing direction goes very fast as well so I definitely think that the hybrid steppers is the way to go and I would like to have have some on the router in the future but uh, let's take a look at um, the wiring and what I have to what I had to do in order to get it to work all right so I now I'm plugged the green ones here and then we can take a look at each one of them let's start off with the CNC controller so at first I connected positive and negative direct current from the power supply nothing strange at all then I connected these colored cables here simply for YouTube purpose and these ones go into the stepper driver here and yeah the only thing that kind of can be a bit hard to see perhaps is that this blue one here just goes between positive poles and and um, positive direction but hopefully it's it's pretty here so nothing strange at all really And then I needed to connect the encoder cables for or from the um, hybrid stepper and as you can see there are some different colors here and I didn't receive any instructions with the motor but if we take a look on the motor rear you can see that um, There are some uh, Mandarin signs. So I asked my brother, who knows Mandarin, if they possibly could mean colors. And he said yes. So then I simply googled for Mandarin colors and took a look at the signs and, uh, and then connected, connected them according to that and the same goes with um, the power for the step motor simply went with um, what the Mandarin signs said finally 
some power for the stepper driver some direct current from the power supply let's see forgot the tripod in the garage that wasn't good so let's connect the power to the power supply and take a look at what I had to do on the computer to get it to work so I had already Mac 3 installed since I used it on my router but I didn't know if uh, this uh, DLL file that I am using for the router would work for this controller this one is Ethernet then the other one I have is USB so I downloaded this TLL file from from Novison's uh, website and then I simply simply copied it to to plugins in the Mach 3 folder and since I already had one since previous with the same name I just renamed the old one with uh, some stuff here so so that I could have both then I took a look at the instructions and I'm connecting my computer direct to the controller with Ethernet cable I'm not using a router and if you are using a router this one hopefully will get an IP but if it won't according to the instructions it will decide or go with a fixed IP in a specific range so I went to the network settings and the IP address has to be like this and above 10 here so when I had set the IP address according to the instructions I tried to connect and it wouldn't work it just said device not connected so then I scratched my head a bit and I went to the Windows firewall settings this is Swedish but uh, it says allow apps to communicate through Windows firewall into that settings and at first I had it like this so I just pressed here to allow my 3 and then I thought that yes now it should work but then it didn't work and that was very unexpected and luckily for me I went back and noticed that I had to allow it two times I don't know why I have I have multiple versions of Mac 3 installed or, or what it was but that was pretty close that uh, I got in a bad mode almost but, but uh, after allowing both of these ones it worked so when starting Mach 3 one have to choose the plugin here and this is the the old one or the one I'm using for router that I renamed yeah we have the other one they have the same name but uh, um, they don't have the same dates when they were made so I think they are different anyways let's go with the one that I downloaded so what I did then was try did set the ports and pins according to the manual 
carrying motor outputs and um, input signals and output signals and you can find those settings on page 29 and 30 in the PDF manual that you can download from the manufacturer's website and after that I went to motor tuning and typed in um, 640 air I went with uh, 3200 pulls per rev here and I choose 640 since um, that will uh, kind of simulate the feed rate on my router since I do have a pitch of 5 millimeters on those ball screws so 640 is just uh, 3200 divided by 5 then I increase the velocity a bit and the acceleration as well and then I was ready to, to try it out but uh, first I wanted to start off a bit slow so I raised or decreased slow jog to let's see to 5% because I wanted to check that uh, that um, the settings that I did set actually was um, five. That one turn actually would show five millimeters here. So I simply took a look here at the black screw, and then I went to turn. And it's roughly five millimeters or minus five. So that seemed to be correct. And um, yeah, after that, I wanted to check the speed out. And this could be a bit noisy, perhaps, but let's check it out. So acceleration is super fast. So so this is my first impression of hybrid steppers and got to say that I'm impressed. The acceleration is um, very nice compared to my regular steppers, but also the velocity. We'll see how it will act under load, but uh, it looks very promising. I can cut pretty bulletproof with a router 1500mm a minute, however, the acceleration is super slow so if I make very very small movements with the end mill I will never reach 1500 millimeters a minute so the actual feed rate during an operation might perhaps be 600 millimeters a minute even though I have set the feed rate to 1500 millimeters a minute and it can reach it. So I definitely feel that uh, hybrid steppers is the way to go. And when you're purchasing most of the hybrid steppers, they come with uh, cables and I went with some cheap stepper motors for my router for I think they were between 17 and 20 bucks but then I had to buy some some uh, shielded cable that was pretty expensive so it added up a bit in the end that was pretty much it and um, not perhaps the most exciting video but uh, people who are 
thinking about purchasing some of these stuff here or recently purchased and want to connect it might find this helpful so that's why I decided to make a video feel free to subscribe to my channel and if you press thumbs up I will be very happy take care and see ya